Mulder, what is this place? Some kind of old ruins. It looks like Krychek used this for a staging area. They're draining the lake. There are more ruins out there. The ship is buried within them, somewhere below the surface of the water. This is proof, Mulder. I was able to retrieve the alien fragment from Rausch Biotech. If we study this fragment and it provides the evidence that we know it should, this is irrefutable proof of everything we've been searching for. The key to unlocking the answer to every question in the X-Files. What more do you hope to find here? The truth. I think we hit shallow water here, Mulder. I can't see the bottom, Scully. What is this? He's unconscious, Fox. I should kill you where you stand, you sick, twisted bastard. Alex is gonna pay for what he's done. He wanted to kill you, not me. He deceived me and tried to take something that doesn't belong to him. And it belongs to you? It belongs to all of us. You, more than anyone, deserve to see what's down there. A ship. More than that. The vision in our mind. It's real. You know what's down there. There's alien life in that ship, waiting to be reawoken. What have you done to me? I'm opening a door for you, Fox. The path is yours to take. But to reach the end, you must listen to this advice. Resist or serve. I know I haven't been to church in a while, Scully, but this isn't what I remember. Is that him? The one that's causing all this? He looks... Normal. Maybe that's the wrong word. Scully, run! Scully, look at the markings on this door. I've seen this before, Mulder. Alien symbols. I think I can decipher this. It's here, just beyond these doors. And what do we do when we get there? I don't know. I'm just making it up as I go along. He derives his power from the artifact. We cut off his power source, we stop him. Or piss him off even more. You work on this door. I think I can find another way in. Any other words of advice? Resist or serve. Just a man. You believe that you can defeat me. Somewhere in your mind you think there is an answer. You believe that you can find... The answer. The tool of your destruction. Well... 
There is pressure on this body from the Attorney General's office to put together an accurate picture of what happened in Red Falls, Colorado, as well as the Tunguska River region of Siberia. The pieces of this puzzle, as presented in both your reports, include an alien artifact with the power to raise the dead, a hidden biotech company funding a project to produce psychic clones, and a Russian man described here as an entity who somehow had the power to control an army of avatars and the undead. So your version of the facts read like the elements from a science fiction video game. If you want to characterize the truth as a video game, then you should stop the men who are pumping quarters into the machine. Countless numbers dead. Millions of dollars in debt. Damage. Do you think this is a joke, Agent Mulder? It's neither a game nor a joke. We were used by a shadow... By a shadow conspiracy of men within our government who wanted this alien power for their own purposes. I read the report, Agent Mulder. A serious accusation, but like so many other incredible and implausible entries in your story, I don't see how we can include it in our final report to the Justice Department. The one fact that remains undeniable is that you were exposed to unhealthy, mind-altering doses of radiation and toxins. Isn't that correct, Agent Scully? Correct. As is your description of these events as being incredible and implausible. But they are the truth. Frankly, Agent Scully, that sounds like something we would have expected from Agent Mulder. I bore witness to these events. I held tangible evidence of alien life in my hand. I don't doubt your sincerity, Agent Scully. But as a woman of science, you must appreciate our position, unless you're still in possession of this tangible evidence. Because this board is split on what the future of the X-Files office will be, I am going to defer to your direct supervisor, Assistant Director Skinner, to decide what action should be taken in this matter. Agents Mulder and Scully both ignored a direct request from my office to step away from their case after the tragedy in Red Falls. I would recommend an official reprimand for their actions, but I temper that with the fact that if not for their actions, more lives would have been lost. We will never fully understand how the pieces of this puzzle, as you describe it, fit together, which is exactly why the X-Files office should remain open. I'm just warning you to tread lightly, Agent Mulder. They're looking for any reason to shut you down. What, does Kirsch have us on double secret probation? Listen to me as your superior, at least listen to me as a friend of you and of the X-Files. Just what Kirsch wants. He keeps making us and Skinner look foolish. He'll ride this pony right to a promotion. The men behind this get what they want, a story of necessary and plausible denial, and we get sent back to the basement with the dunce caps on. Do you really believe that, Mulder? Is there no victory that you can take from this? We stopped them. I know it's not over, but we stopped them from winning this battle. How many more people would have died if we had failed? And the smoking man, Krychek, these men were left with nothing. I want to believe that, Scully, I do. But now you're right. As long as we're together, it's a victory.